Hey guys, I had a user request, uh, they wanted to know how to use a button to start a creative device. So I figured I'd just make a really quick tutorial. Uh, you can do this in any of your um, creations that you're working on right now. I'm just going to use this tutorial that I did yesterday. Um, what you want to do is you want to go to your, uh, somewhere close to your device that you want to use. And uh, go in here and go into all and search for a button. And I'm going to just take a button and drag it out here. I'm going to go down here to advanced. Open the advanced button here. And down here where it says times can trigger, I'm just going to set that to one. I mean, you can, otherwise, each time you trigger, it's going to restart your, your verse script or whatever. So it just kind of keeps that from happening. And I'm going to save all. Then open up your verse file. Uh, what you want to do is up here where it says editable. We're going to add another device here. Let's see. See if I can get my notes. Make it faster. Okay, a button is a special device. It's 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 a device, but it's not really a device. Um, it's actually called a button device. So. We're going to add add editable. I'm just going to call it an on button because we're going to use it to turn it on. The button device equals button device. I'm going to go ahead and file and save this and go to verse and build verse code. And then it's going to let me add this button here. Just pick your button. Then back in verse, what you want to do is you want to come down to your on begin and whatever you have that actually starts your script running. Uh, like on this script, this if location marker, this marker, blah, blah, blah. I don't really need that to be on the on button. It's just getting a location length, just getting a marker length of an array. But this right here is what actually starts my code running because it starts this select marker and then it just creates a chain effect. So in the on begin function, this is the part that I'm going to need to add to the button and take it out of on begin so it's not automatic. But first, I'm going to have to actually add a listener. So I'm going to add this on button. Actually, I can't call it on button. I'll call it start button. Because on button is actually the, call, the, uh, the name of the function that we're going to use to turn it on. So I'll call it start button. Call this on start button. Interact with event. And I'm going to subscribe to it. Start button or on on start button. Actually, no. Well, I'm trying to rename it here. Let's just call this button. Button device. Button interact with. On button. Oh, okay. It's the only one. It's not working because I haven't added the, the event yet.
make sure that's actually in the on begin function. And then here, I can add Agent, Agent, Agent void equals. So when I click this button, which this, there's too many button words there. It, it kind of gets confusing, but I'm just going to leave the name as button. Um, this is the on button event that's actually going to start my game now or start this script running. And what I've done is on the on begin, I've subscribed to that on button. So it's sitting there waiting on somebody to interact with the button. And when it gets it interacted with, it actually turns on the on button uh, method here and then goes to select marker. And I can save it. Verse, build verse code. Uh, I might actually have to add this to the rest of them now. Because I've got three of that same first device running in this, this game here. Then we wait, make sure everything works. Now also you don't have to have just one button. You can like put these buttons in different places to have your code do different things. So I could have one button to start the code, and then I could add another button to stop it. Or you can actually put a flip-flop where I set a, uh, a logic to true or false each so, so that you could leave the button to infinite number of times it can be triggered. So that way you could start and then actually stop the code running. All right, let's start it up. Now, none of my stuff is moving. Just got to go to the button, interact with it. Apparently I left that platform over there out. <laughs> Which is perfectly fine. It just does go to show that the, that the button actually works. Yep, there it is. Now that one's on a button. Anyway, that's all. This is just a quick tutorial to show you how to use the button. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more stuff, just like and subscribe. Or just subscribe. Or just keep up with it. Um, a lot of this stuff I'm also going to be posting on the... Uh, I'm going to be posting it on the uh, dev.epicgames.com, the community pages. The community learning stuff and the snippets so i'll see you guys later